right, we'd like to welcome the 2012 R.R. Donnelly LPGA Founders Cup winner, Yanni Sen, into the interview room. Congratulations. What a win today. Quite a dramatic day out there full of lots of delays, some hail, some rain. Can you just take me through the day? I know. It's, uh, it's a little drama there today. I mean, I didn't play quite well on the front night. It was like hell on the first hole, and it was like hell free holes today. And I mean, I've just been really patient. We've been back and on and off like three, four times, and then, you know, you just... When in my mind, I was feel like we're gonna finish tomorrow, so we were really lucky to finish today and finish in the dark last few holes. And because of my eyes, so I couldn't see much, much of a distance. So I try to kind of keep to myself. It's okay, just finish this few holes and just hit a good shot, good contact, play one shot at a time. But I mean, today I, at the front nine, I had a few of little bad mistake. And I mean, I just, but I'm proud of myself. I hung in there at the back night. I am, I think that second time's raining. Uh, it's the second time or first time raining is a, a first time raining, I think is a good, good break for me because, you know, I finished night hole, was one over and I had a birdie chance on the number 10, but then we have the break. So I kind of like take a little, a little bit of my time and come back here to relax a little bit and to rethink, restart again, restart of the day. So it's good, good break for me there. And I had a birdie on number 10 and play well on the back nine. I was going to say that birdie on number 10 got you into a hot stretch where you birdied five of six holes. As you got going there, did you just find your comfort level? Did, did something change mentally where you just felt this is the time to kind of make that push? Uh, I just feel, you know, this is the time. I mean, I tell myself we have nine, hole to, nine, hole, nine more holes. It's okay. Three shot back. You know, you still have a good chance. you down the back nine. Just play like on the first day. You know, try to make birdie every hole because I, sh I played seven under here before, so I can do it again. So, I mean, I played five under, so it's pretty close. You had a two-shot lead until nigh on, and I birdied on 16 Take me through those final two holes when you had the one-shot lead and darkness is kind of creeping in. How were you able to kind of maintain your focus and not let any of the other things distract you from what you were doing? Yeah, I, I just, I didn't think too much, you know, but I think 17 hole, that three foot, uh, four foot apart make part, I think that's very important for me because I know if I make this, I'm going to win the tournament. So I just stay really focused and try to not think too much. And I don't think we're going to play in the dark or something, you know. If I don't finish, it's okay. So I kind of not, not rush, just be like step by step and not thinking too much. Questions for Yanni? Yeah, it seemed like the breaks maybe helped you more than anyone else. Why do you think that happened where you kind of were able to come inside, cool off for a bit? You know, other people sounded like they had trouble. They had to, you know, get stretching and, and get warm up again. Why do you think maybe that helped you? Yeah, you know, first time, I think the first time helped me because I didn't play quite well. I was, I didn't hit a good shot and driver was so slow. I didn't make good, like, make good putt, but I missed. So it's not very special or fun night. So I feel, I just give me, myself, a, a lot of positive energy to coming back here, have a little lunch, you know, like chatting and do something with friend, And, you know, just like, um, you know, stay relaxed here instead of try to stressful on the golf course and thinking, try to make birdie, try too hard on the golf course. So it's good to coming back here. And the second time is kind of a little hard because I keep making birdie. And as all of a sudden, the horn's blowing again. We're like, oh, I, I wish I could keep there and start making birdie. So, but I'm pretty lucky I get back and start making two birdies. And the third, and I saw we're gonna finish. I saw we cannot finish today, and it was just get very lucky. I'm really happy that we finished today, and I mean, just thanks all the people who are staying here with us all day. How long were your birdie putt on the par four 13th when you when you took the lead? Um, 13. Right after the delay, the last delay. Is it par? Par three. The four, the 14th hole. Par three. Is that yeah. Pass three? Yeah, yeah uh, like 20 feet, out of 20 feet for, for birdie. And I mean, I was really cold when I, when I get back there. My hand, it was, it was like rock. I mean, I have no feel with my hand and try to keep warm. And it was just really tough. I mean, the weather was really tough out there today. Did the speed of the greens change at all after the delays 
when it got wet? It is. I think especially certain time when we back up and it was raining very hard and hells again and those and green kind of getting a little slower. So so last free part I've been hitting shorts like a little bit, but it, it is getting slower a little bit at back. Just how can you explain the start to the year for you two victories now? Um, obviously, this is the streak that you'd like to continue, right? Yeah, of course. You know, I, I just very proud of myself because on a, like after Naiho, I was three shot back and I just hung in there and then do my best and try to not uh, try to not worry about what other people's doing because and actually yesterday I went back to look little golf on the senior tour and here is something that they were doing. They you know they don't care what other people are playing. You know you just kind of focus on yourself. So I mean I just kind of remind myself that you know don't don't worry about anybody playing and then you just do your best if you don't win it's okay you know we try next time if you win and you I mean you're that good so I mean just so I just very proud of myself to hang in there and I mean I and I only play so well today I mean so it was really good you know they pushed me to become better and better to they mean you know feel like under pressure all the times and try to I think three of us we were trying to winning I mean we were so close like today so it was very good I mean they, they both played very well today. Yanni you've won a lot over the past year but this victory with it being the Founders Cup and getting to see the founders here all week and a lot of the pioneers of the LPGA tour is this one special knowing what it means to celebrate the history of the LPGA? I think so. I think it's, it's very special. I mean, this two years, it's the most special tournament on the, on, the, on the LPGA because last year we played for charity. So, I mean, that's very special. I mean, everybody, doesn't matter how much they play. I mean, you make birdie, you, you, do, you donate the money to charity or all your price money to charity. And this year, I mean, all the founders are here. We see five of them, five of them, they were here. So, I mean, we won't be here without all the founders. I mean, just really thanks then to give us a... Uh, Give me and give all the girls junior to have a have a big dream to come here and play on the LPGA and I mean I just I'm one of us and I'm really really appreciate it and really it's my honor to be part of this. Any more questions for Yanni? Well, thank you very much and again congratulations. Thank you. Thanks.